hi guys so um today i'm gonna do a video for you guys and um i just want to first apologize for taking a while to be posting a new video and um <clears throat> yeah i'm sorry forgive me um yeah i hope you're all well i hope you're all well and kicking i hope everything is well yay yay <laughs> So today, um, <clears throat> my topic is basically based um, on people who, you, it's mainly for students, um, but anyone is welcome to watch it, to be fair, because you might take something from there that you need to say, don't just, because I've said it's for students, don't just click the X button, just carry on watching, um, and yeah, I hope you're blessed and I hope you take something away from it. Um, so basically, I'm going to give you like a little background on um, my education and where I've come from and everything first as well. Please excuse the light. Um, if it changes at times, please excuse me. The sun is my light at the moment, so please bear with me, guys. So yeah, um, I'm going to give you guys a background on my education and from a young age to where I am now and what I'm doing and yeah so um <clears throat> when I was young little I was very smart not to say I'm not smart now but I was very smart like I used to be one of those people like remember like in like in Africa like we do these things where like you know where they're about to give out results like it's not over the computer that you click on your you know you go on your website uni website or you know no, 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 or even papers, you don't have papers. <laughs> like, back in Africa, what we used to do is that um, they used to read it out. So, like, they'll say, Victor Akalilas, A, um, Jack, B, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Um, Melanie, U, do you know what I mean? They re used to read it out, like, at the end of the at the end of the class, they would read it out. And there'll be par parents outside as well, watching, listening to the kids' <laughs> grades. So, it was like that, basically. And um, so it wasn't that you could hide your grade. Everyone would know your grade. So um, back then, I was actually very smart. I always used to be one of the like the top three people, like with A's. Like you know, I was yeah, I was well known. Everyone knew me to be the smart one, and I know I was smart anyway. So yeah, so that carried on until I got to um, when I moved to the UK, and then I got way into college, and I saw the difference between studying in Africa and studying into the UK like it's very different the education like everything the way they they teach um the way you study like the amount of work you put into study is very different um and I almost feel like in Africa obviously there's more it's harder I would say to the UK because here you have like you have people helping you out like back there like there wasn't much help I'd say to no one would be there you know helping Look, if you had a problem basically you would go and ask um and maybe then they will help you if they didn't want to it's your own fault you'll find it out yourself but here you have much help you know what I mean so it was different to me so I kind of got comfortable I'd say with how the education was here um and in my college like in college when I got into college like it was I just, it just wasn't working for me, like, everything was hard, um, not just the language, like, there were certain words I still was, like, was not understanding, but just putting in the work was not, like, I didn't want to, like, not that I didn't want to, but even if I did put in the work, it just wasn't what I expected, the results that I would get was not what I expected, was not what I would expect, so it was just really hard, like, college for me was a night up night, because it just showed me how not so smart I became um and I used to doubt myself a lot as well and yeah it just wasn't working and I remember like when I got into to do my A-levels um <clears throat> like when I went to get the results I already knew I expected I expected the results to be um horrible and they ended up being horrible to be fair and um yeah, and that's one of the things I'm going to be talking about, expect like expectation, like, if you expect something to be horrible, it will be horrible. So I was not shocked when it was horrible, because I expected it anyway. Um, so yeah, and how I got into university, I have no idea, because with the grades that I got, no one should get into university. No 
body would be able to get into university. And the thing was like that I knew that it was God. Even when I look back now, I knew it was God because sometimes what people do like if you have the grades that i got you go into clearing and you have to do another course but i managed to get into the course that i wanted to do like at the time like that's what i wanted to do and i managed to get with it with those grades so looking back now i know that it was god all the way it had to be him so i got into my first year of university first year was a lot <laughs> it was still a lot for me it was oh it was so much work it was so much i don't know it was too i don't know i don't know what happened to be fair it was just a lot of work i was not motivated i just yeah and then fair shirt of uni for me i started i just went through a lot as well in terms of at home personally myself i was um i just had a lot going on so i didn't bother to put in the work so i know myself i didn't put in the work um and then i ended up failing my first year of uni so bear in mind that I have two older sisters and they've all finished uni now. They've gotten first classes. Um they had like they finished they had masters, first class, everything first class. And here we are I'm coming home to tell my mom and dad that, Mom, I failed my first year of uni. Um I think that point it hurt me, like it was I don't think it was the fact that I failed that hurt me it was the fact that i was telling my parents after all everything that they did for me to come and tell them that i failed like just how they would feel they probably wouldn't show it but to me that was i felt like a disgrace like i felt really bad and just to see all my friends passing and i was just like oh my gosh like what is wrong with me like i'm just silly i'm stupid i'm not smart i'm not this i'm not that um but God had a funny way, like, because even though I failed that year, that first year and I managed to do a part-time the next year, um, like, it opened other doors in that time as well that I would not have, have been to be able, like, things that I would not have been able to do if I was in full-time. So it just goes to show that regardless of where you find yourself, even if that wasn't his will, he's still able to turn it around to open doors to to make like to make it look like it was his will if you know what i mean so to me showed me a lot as well and i just like as a person i just became i just yeah i just began to doubt myself a lot um i didn't think i was smart i didn't think i was clever i didn't think i was like my sister sisters i felt different to them um <clears throat> so that carried on and then um that carried on and then in my third year of uni i'm now in my final year of uni and um my first semester like before i started i told myself okay this is my last year i did not do four years of at uni to be coming out with less than a two one i want a first but if anything i don't want want less than a two one so i told myself yeah i'm gonna work hard. i'm gonna put in the work i'm gonna study like crazy first semester my first semester of exams um I had so much pressure on myself. I put on so much pressure on myself because I wanted, because I knew the goal. I knew that this was it. There was, I couldn't say, okay, next year I'll do better. This was it. Um, and there was so much pressure on myself. I literally, I was not going out. Um, I was in my house for a whole two weeks without even stepping outside. I wasn't talking to people. I was just doing work. And I felt like I was going crazy. Like, it's not even, I felt, I felt like I went crazy. I started having migraines. There was so much pressure. I felt like I was going to explode. I wanted to scream. I wanted to shout. I wanted to, Ugh, it was really hard. And um, my advice is you is never do that, guys, please. If you're studying for something, if you're, um, if you're studying for something, don't shut yourself out. Like, have breaks, take breaks. Um, do something even if it's just to walk outside just to walk go for it because it's really needed um because you just closing yourself up will just make you go crazy like it'll make you go crazy it'll make your head overloaded with so many things because there's no air going in there's nothing else to say from work so it's really important for you guys to do so um so i put in the work i i went in I went in um, and I got my results um, like a couple of weeks ago and 
they just brought me even more down because I passed but they were not what I expected with all the work that I put in and all the migraines that went in there and at that point I just told myself what is the point like why should I be carrying on with this uni I know it's final year I know I've only got one semester left but why should I carry on, carry on if I'm not getting the results like the work that I'm putting in I'm not getting these results like I'm not it's just not like I just felt like really silly I felt like I was oh so silly like I was so not smart like I felt stupid I have to be honest I really did um and at that point I was just really down for a few days and um I spoke to my mom about it and then she helped me a lot in terms of she just motivated me and she reminded me of a lot of things that I did not do in that time um, instead of putting although I was not I pray but not really like I wasn't praying that much I just wanted to get my work done um I pray but I was I wasn't including God in it, if that makes sense I was just telling him going to him Lord you need to help me but I wasn't including him in the work I wasn't yeah I wasn't he wasn't included <clears throat> so um at that point I was like okay what do I do um there's one semester left what do I do do I stress do I give up now or do I carry on um do I get back up and carry on and that's what I am doing and um I just wanted to share this with you guys for like people who are studying probably you're in your final year of uni or you're in your second year whatever year you're in and you're struggling with um believing in yourself and um, believing that you can do believing that you can you can achieve um believing that you are smart you are smart and unless you believe until you believe it everything that you will do will basically everything that you believe about yourself is going to be reflected in your actions be, and in your results as well so um it starts in believing by believing that you are smart believing that you can achieve you can do all things for you Christ is strengthening you, believing that you you can achieve whatever you put your mind to, and just remember to include him in everything that we that you do. Like pray when you're studying, include like breaks where you just have to pray before you start with studying. Pray, ask him to guide you, to to lead you, to give you understanding, because he is able to give you understanding. Everything that we're studying, he is the one who gave like all our teachers the wisdom do you know what i mean to know all these things so he is capable of doing the same with us of giving us understanding just ask him and he will literally do it be open believe in yourself um believe in yourself guys and do not allow any faults that tells you that you are not smart that tells you that you cannot do it you can do it um <clears throat> and one other thing is that um know that i was just when i was going through all that season of me being stressed what i didn't think i thought about was hold on i'm young i'm 21 and i'm stressing about something this stage of my life already what about when i get old like how am i gonna be like this is the time where i'm meant to be enjoying myself and not stressing myself over something so i know it's big but it's not the end of your life guys there's so much more into life that you will not let this little thing get to you this small stage do you not know I mean get to you and stress you out for no reason like do not stress yourself as hard as it is to say if you're writing your dissertation smile <laughs> smile enjoy and just plan plan it properly organize yourself plan and literally go according to your plan um work according to the plan that you make it's important to have a plan because if you don't have a plan then man you, you gonna, it's gonna be hard for you like it's gonna be really hard have a plan and and just commit everything that you do into god's hands because he is able to only him can literally help us only him can strengthen us when we're down when we feel like we can't do only him will comfort us and help us get back up so believe in yourself that's what i'm going to tell you enjoy go out sometimes and like just take your mind off the work and everything that you're doing and you are smart you are smart and you can do it um so yeah i hope this helps someone out there and um literally i hope like when i do my graduation i'll share with you guys you know my joy <laughs> to graduate but um yeah just find a verse that helps you um focus find a verse that helps you concentrate 
and where can you find a song as well like him or breaker had a song i'll hopefully post the link and um i'll post the link underneath um or the the name of the song underneath and um, but he helped me a lot um and so when i will have breaks i'll play this song and whew, my name will help you so i hope you're all well um <clears throat> hope you have a lovely day smile enjoy love do what you gotta do and you gotta smash it bye Mwah. <laughs>